in studio. So two things. Kobe really talks about Colorado or his personal life. You were able to get him to talk about both. So let's start with his wife after Colorado. Mm -hmm. How was he able to repair that relationship? Describe it, if you will. Well, he's an actor and a Chicago guy, best yeah. known for Love Jones, Menace Society, Crash. Uh, welcome to Sports Center Coast to Coast, Lorenz hey, Tate. Thank you so much for having me. How's it going? It's good. It's good. I, I want to have a moment, and not most of our viewers probably don't, maybe they don't know Minister Society, but you were O-Dog for me forever. O-D-O-G. <laughs> that, that was your name. That's yeah. how you were introduced to me when I was a kid growing up. But now, obviously, here you are, a, a talented actor. You have a new show. Uh, it's called Game of Silence. Yes. Congratulations that you have Thank been you. able to extend your career. I think that has to do with, uh, large in part, with your love of sports, no? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a competitor of their past, and it's a show about friendship, loyalty. Uh, there's a lot of heartache and corruption, but this uh, yeah. nicely balanced with uh, love and relationships. Right the wrongs. That's where my I'm gonna go in. That's my my end right there. Sure. Writing wrong. Just the the lack of de de defense throughout the season. Yeah. I mean, we went from a very defensive team to. Uh, offensive, and we forgot about, you know, getting back on the other end. Here in Los Angeles, Brian Windhorst. Brian, trust seems to be the theme of the day when we're talking about OKC. We watched that collapse last night. What were you thinking? Now, there's a couple things going on. One, you watch in during moments, I'm sure you did. Tell us about moments during the race where you felt maybe this was bigger than you, that you that you weren't going to finish. Yeah, I think it was so, my brother's my wife, Jessica, ran the Boston Marathon together. No, we didn't know each other. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's okay. We ran separately. You ran se You both ran. We didn't know each other. Oh. Yeah, so you didn't it was know each other. Correct. Oh, my goodness. Right. And then in 2013, you're married together, finish line watching. Right. The bombings happen. You lost your leg. Your wife has both lost both of her legs. Mm. Can you explain for us and put us into your world and what it's been like for the two of you over the past three years? Yeah. Special moment Sunday, throwing out the first pitch yeah. at the Red Sox game. And it wasn't the first time you've gotten to do it. Right. Um, what was that experience like, and what did you learn from the first time you did it? Because, man, you've got an arm. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, I said it was a good pitch, that it was good to see me, and then immediately asked about Jess and how she was doing. Great. Yeah, he's really the, – the Red Sox organization have been nothing but amazing to us. They keep inviting all of our friends back, and – they're just so special. Kate Easton back on Sports Center AM. Serena Morales, Kevin DeGandhi, Jay Harris, and Jamie Sire. It is Tuesday, so that means it's time to get everyone up to date on what went down on Dancing with the Stars last night and some drama maybe lying ahead for Steelers wide receiver Antonio Brown. Right, so Doug Flutie had a two-week run fending off elimination. Good for you. Seems to be making strides. We'll get to him in a moment. But now it's Brown's turn to sweat it out at elimination after a less than, like, my man, what happened? <laughs> so that not flip, so. Though. Like, I know, you'd think you'd yeah, get extra points. You guys didn't. Know. No, that's, still. That's like gymnastics. And we, we would know. Okay. Right, I was like, y'all didn't pull that out the other day. <laughs> that was bad. That was awesome. All right, now to get to uh, our aforementioned flush. No, that wasn't his, but that's that's the big story in the segment, that Bill Belichick was on I was like, media. what? Smiling? That's huge. All right, plenty of more action from Dancing with the Stars next week, and we will update you because it's... <laughs> the record for most runs in, in one inning is 17, set by the Boston Red Sox back in 1953. And on this day in 1996, the Texas Rangers tried to break that mark in the eighth inning against the Baltimore Orioles, but came up just short. Rich Eisen on the highlight read. It is our top back in the day. Oh, man, no. I got an interview with him next week, so. I'm, oh, very this week, cool. This week, so I'm going to be a pleasure to talk to him on the phone. Oh, that's exciting. Yes, that's sir. great. And your dad was a college basketball player, and I know that basketball was your first love. What eventually turned out that that's what you wanted to do for your future? Because I know you started off as a running back, mm. right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I, I started off. Kuiper Jr. has you going 19th to the Bills. Todd McShay has you going 10th to the Giants. I mean, how much do you pay attention to what the draft analysts say? Um, I don't pay attention to that at all. You were trying to excel playing football, but at that time also you were taking care of your family, right? Yes, ma'am. And how much did that have to do with you staying close to home and playing at Clemson. Go to a military academy at Hargrave to get your grades up so you could go to Clemson. What did that time there do for you? How did that form you into the person you are today? Uh, for so much of your experiences, and I'm wondering on draft day, which is gonna be a happy day, what, what words of your father's are gonna be ringing in your ears? What are you gonna be thinking 